time to check the water gauge. Yep, I'd say it's wet. He fool. All right, welcome back party people. So today I'm trying to resolve a storage issue I have inside the van. Uh, if you can see this gray five gallon bucket back here in the corner, that is my toilet when I'm on camping trips. Currently, it's hanging up here in the front because it does need to be accessible from the living space in the front. Obviously, when, uh, when you go to sleep at night, you want this thing to be close. And usually what I do is right before I go to bed, I will reach under here and drag it out and set it on the floor that way in case somebody has to get up and use the bathroom at night. It is within reasonable distance. I really want to find a solution to keep this thing from rattling and banging up against everything in the van. And I know you're probably thinking to yourself, well, there's a ton of solutions to that. And uh, most all of the solutions I found are fairly pricey, you know, from 20 bucks all the way up to 50 and 60 bucks. I have zero floor space in here because the trays are actually take up all the floor space. And I have my drawer space on both sides. So there's zero floor space and uh, there's really no other option but to really use some of this side space up under the bed here so let's go mock something up i want to try to use some stuff i had laying around that are, that uh, i wouldn't have to purchase and i do have these two hinges here which i think might come in handy so what i picked up at the big box store is this od galvanized tab tape so my plans are to actually mount this to the hinges so that I have a strap around the circumference of the bucket and I could easily slip the bucket in and out and it would be hinged such that the uh, strap would just kind of fold down against the wall when not used. Uh, that way it would kind of be out of the way of uh, some of the other items in the van. All right, so we have a scrap piece of plywood mounted in the vise here, and that's going to simulate our van wall. By the way, if you're not familiar with these uh, portable toilets, they're pretty popular at job sites. They're called uh, Luggable Loose, and uh, it's basically a toilet seat on top of a five-gallon bucket. They're fairly comfortable, and what I do is I keep some trash bags inside as liners, and that's what I use in my portable toilet. And so. So the idea is to use the metal strapping here around the circumference of the bucket. This is used to kind of hang pipe. You could probably do two or three buckets with this, uh, with this metal here. All right, so we've got our bucket hanging up here. The idea is to use some of this strapping around the bucket here and we'll mount that to a hinge. So what I want to do is actually mark a space so about along where that knot is is where I want to install a hinge. Loop the bucket out of the way for now. Get some of the extra out of the way. Good. All right, so I mocked these up. So this seems to be a pretty good diameter here. Let me zoom out and give it the old test. Do, 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 do. All right, now that we kind of proved out our mock-up, I'm gonna screw this all together. Got some bolts and some nuts here. And uh, once we get it all together, then I'm gonna take the Dremel and trim the length of these bolts so they'll be much shorter. So let's do that. The other thing too, if you have additional tab tape left over, I'll show you how to uh, Connect this in order to hold more weight in the bucket in case you're carrying uh, or storing things in the bucket. Number four. 
as I was saying, if you want to carry more weight in your bucket. One thing that you can do is uh, add some additional tab tape. So let me see if I can zoom out here. So then you can add a strip under the bottom here. So you can just bolt a, a strip on like that to go under it and uh, it'll sit like that and that'll get you more weight and if you use bolts with uh, some washers on each side these will pivot too so uh, you'll have no problem if you want to collapse it it'll pivot along with it like that i'm not going to use it for this particular application because i don't think i need it and when i'm dealing with the van less is more let's throw some tape on there and get her installed and the one thing I can tell you about, you know, having a van and camping out, you're, you're almost always in the dark and you're looking for things in the dark too. So whenever you can use a bright colored uh, indicator to help you kind of locate things, um, especially uh, there's going to be times at night where you're just not going to either have access to a light switch or you're going to be too lazy to go for the light switch. So I'm going to brighten this up just a little bit here with some of this red electrical tape. All right, so that's much more friendlier to the touch there. If you're concerned about scratching the bucket up, you can add this tape all the way around. I'm not necessarily concerned about that, but I am concerned about other people reaching their hands down there. So I'm just gonna finish this off as much as possible here with this tape. And I went with this tab tape here because it's pre-drilled it has holes in it already and it seemed like it was pliable enough to kind of work with and it was cheap so that's pretty much how you make a uh, less than five dollar five gallon bucket holder the five gallon buckets are very utilitarian you can store in them you can carry in them you can take showers and baths in them. Five gallon buckets are great. The problem is they're round and they don't collapse. So you have to find some way to store them. So. All right, so I think we're ready to go install this in the van. So that's the area we're shooting for right along in there on that wall. And that will give me access to get it from the front. All right, and you can tell in that space, I don't really have a stud to actually connect to, so to actually screw to so what I'm gonna do is I've cut this piece of quarter inch I'm gonna mount the hinges to this and then I'm gonna screw this to the wall with a bunch of uh, smaller screws this will help distribute the load so windy today this will just help me tack it in place while I'm diddly in the round with it. Alright. Torn it. Perfect. Pretty stable. I think that'll solve our uh, noise problem. Pretty sturdy. All right. All right, party people, that'll do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed how to make a five gallon bucket holder for less than five bucks. Till next time, skill up and ride, van up and go.